हेलो एवरीवन अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू लाफ्ट एंड चेयर्स ऑल ऑफ यू आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग गुड एंड ग्रेट आई एम अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह आल्सो वेरी फाइन सो टुडे इज अ वेरी स्पेशल डे एंड आई हैव इनवाइटेड सम ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स फॉर द अफ्तार डिनर विद अस एट आवर प्लेस सो फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द प्रिपरेशंस ऑफ द मील्स दैट आई डिसाइडेड टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द अफ्तार I recorded some of the clips uh, for the preparation of the iftar meals. So here comes for the first the fruit chart. So these are all fruits available in my home right now. So I will going to cut this all and I will going to show you. Now here I just uh, cut the melon into a separate uh, bowl and for the rest of the fruits I made a simple fruit chart and I just added a mango squash and a chaat masala just to give it a little flavor. Now here the next uh, I already washed all these uh, vegetables that I needed for the cooking and plus for the garnishing. For the third stuff uh, that I did, uh, I already cutted these potatoes and uh, prepared all these things regarding about the pakoras. And here what I did a uh, one day before, uh, so I already prepared this uh, gravy meal for the biryani and I already made this chicken and uh, these vegetables. Uh, that i showed you earlier so i already cut it them so i will going to show you what i'm going to uh, make of all this thing so here everyone this is the final look of our iftar table i made all these things uh, from the scratch and um, some of the stuff uh, that i needed i already prepared and basically the cutting and the chopping of the vegetables i already did it earlier in the morning or that like the biryani gravy that i shared with you i prepared it a day before to keep myself relaxed in the fasting as well so i hope all of you like all these prepared meals uh, on my iftar table may allah bless all of us with all these blessings always amen so here everyone in this vlog i will be sharing with you one very good recipe i tried this two time i will be sharing with you about the pizza pin wheels that you can make at home so for this you just need a chicken i just used here one breast of the chicken plus i used here uh, some of the vegetables it's completely up to you but i prefer carrot and capsicum uh, are the perfect one for this and for the spices i'm just using here some turmeric paprika a uh, lal mirch salt and some pepper all this like 1 tt spoon and along this i will be using mozzarella cheese uh, for the topping let's begin with the preparation of the chicken so for the chicken in a pan you just going to add some of the oil like 2 uh, to 3 tablespoon and uh, then i will be adding here a uh, chicken and all the spices you can also add a 1 tt spoon of uh, ginger garlic paste here and we will going to cook the chicken until it just completely fully cooked and once it is done i will going to let it rest let it just dry and cool down at the room temperature So here everyone our chicken is prepared and once again I'm sharing with you all the ingredients that I will be using to get prepared the uh, bread and I'm using here ready made uh, dough and if you want to make the dough at home so you can simple use the pizza bread making and you can use the same dough for this um, uh, recipe as well so over here i just got it from the store uh, over here these are very cheaply available and these are very super convenient and you surely could find uh, this uh, ready made dough and this is in the square shape so this is perfect for this recipe so for the very first i will just be giving a little spread of the ketchup that we want to ketchup now over here we will just going to simply spread whole the ketchup uh, at the bread and uh, we just going to make it evenly spread on the bread after that i will be going to add um, first the chicken uh, and then uh, all the related vegetables and at the last i'm going to add uh, all the cheese
Isn't it the bread looks tempting? Yes, it's very yummy as well. Over here guys, the final part of this recipe is very important and it is all a game of a lot of patience. So over here, I will just going to roll from this side as you are seeing in the video. So slowly and gradually, you just need to roll the bread on with the filling. And obviously the filling is too much and the bread is very thin. So you just need to use your hands very uh, lightly with the bread. And then slowly and gradually you will just going to roll it into a big shawarma style and a shawarma size, a, a complete roll. Now here guys you can use a little bit of the flour on your hands if you feel a little sticky and uh, as you can see here the bread is completely sealed from the end and uh, over here I'm going to cut the bread into smaller into simpler uh, size of this round shape and uh, we're going to put this in the baking tray and for the baking tray uh, we will just simply going to grease the baking tray and i will going to show you how i am going to put uh, these um, pin wheels uh, into the tray You can see how I just lined up and um, I just completely bake all these uh, pinwheels in two slots um, and in the end uh, we will just going to simply beat in an egg and give it a little egg washer at the top at the edge of uh, the pinwheels uh, and we're going to bake it at 200 degree in the oven uh, around like uh, five to seven minutes. Here everyone, this is the final close-up look of the pizza pinwheels. I hope all of you really like this recipe and will be sharing your feedback in the comments box below. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, so please kindly subscribe my channel Laughter and Cheers for more videos and for more a lot of fun videos related to the upcoming series. So I will be waiting for your subscription and you will going to wait a really good content from me. So till the next time we will be meeting, take good care of yourself and remember me and my family in your prayers. Till then everyone, take care, bye bye, laugh is.